Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today I'm going to answer a question that I've got on, over on my forums and that is this little question. I keep hearing that Linux does not get viruses. Is this true? To in which I responded that this is actually a long and complicated answer. And while it is true that to date Linux does not have any viruses out in the wild, that does not mean that it won't in the future. It does not mean that Linux is impervious to viruses. As much as the Linux community likes to spout out and claim that it is, I do not believe that it actually is impervious. While it does have a lot of strengths against it, the mere fact that it's still an operating system kind of has its weaknesses. Um, as Linux gets more popular, the odds of it getting any kind of computer virus will increase. Now, those, a lot of Linux fans at this moment will go, yeah, but there's a lot of different distributions. You have Slackware, uh, Fedora, Red Hat, even though Fedora and Red Hat are the same. Um, Ubuntu, Debian, um, whatever Mandrake turned into. I haven't followed much with Mandrake. Um, and I'm, it's like, yes, but most of your end users, people like my mother, people like your mother, people like our grandparents, people like that, they're probably going to almost all have one kind. It might be Ubuntu or Kubuntu. Both of these are the exact same operating system with different user interfaces. It was once said that Macs could not get a virus. It was impossible to infect a Mac with a virus. But you know, Mac now has a fairly good user base. It actually has a few viruses in the wild. It's actually had one that affected the iPhones as well. Uh, from what I hear. Though there is actually rumors that, that was actually false. I'll see if I can find any stories, but it's been about a year since I heard anything about it. The ones for Macs, it's been a while. So I'm going to use those viruses that have been released on a Mac as proof of concept that Linux can get a virus. Because the way Macs operate, Macs are a Unix system, and Linux is a Unix-like system. The only thing that prevents Linux from being considered Unix is it hasn't been through all the testing for it to be declared as a Unix system. Also, the short circuit questions that he'll have, and I'll, I say stuff like this: that Linux compu Linux computers can still house viruses that infect Windows. Um, this actually happens a lot. That's why my website, even though it runs a Linux operating system, also runs an antivirus program. That way, in case, let's say you as a user, you uploaded a file and wanted to share it on my website. This is actually restricted to registered users and registered users that already have a few posts and no warnings. But um, when you upload, it'll get scanned for viruses. I'm not actually sure how my web host actually has that configured. But I've tried to set up the way my software on my website runs so that it scans all files for viruses. And I've just got an email, as you heard. So I, I hope this sparked a, a good question uh, and will spark a good debate in the comment section and probably in my forums, whatever. I'm always a fan of a good debate. Uh, on, my, uh, on my forums, if a flame war starts out, I've actually got rules against that, so I will take action. I'll probably try to shut down any kind of flame wars that go on in the comment section. But YouTube comment sections aren't exactly the easiest to moderate. As uh, I seem to get comments in waves. That is to say, I'm not, except for my new videos, my older videos, I'll, if I get one, I'll get like ten uh, comments. So I'll get them all, like, all at once. So, Alright, um, have a nice day.